So I filmed a whole intro and then it didn't record. So, um, hi guys. I haven't done a face-to-face -face video in a really long time. Um, you guys are getting me makeup free because I didn't feel like putting on makeup. Um, but yeah, basically I have been out for a while doing just work stuff. Work has been super, super busy. Um, it is camp season for my job. And so camp took over and work took over and YouTube took a back seat. Um, I figured I would do this video for you guys because it's fun. Um, I've watched a whole bunch of these videos. I've actually only watched like two, but I figured I would show you guys my first experience using a hollow powder um, with gel nails. And so, yeah, I I just thought it would be fun. And I, I, you know, I like hollow, so I wanted to see what it was like anyways. So I figured I may as well film this video for you guys. Um, I am also going to put this up probably in lieu of a swatch my stash video because um, this, is like the only time that I have to film a video today and I wanted to try out hollow powder so that series will get you know re-upped soon probably after I've removed this gel nail polish after I do this um, which will be in like a week and a half but um, yeah we'll see how this goes um, so for what you need for this video or for this video <laughs> what you need for this video is a computer and an internet access or a phone um, but what you need to do this if you are going to do this at home would be the hollow powder and um, this guy the hollow powder I'm using I got off of Amazon it's called pretty diva one gram hollow ellipse re pigment top grade new um, I'll show you guys the package I got again I got this off of Amazon literally says pretty diva one gram hollow ellipse er and then all that stuff it comes with the powder in there and it comes with the little spongy bits to apply the, the powder um if you guys are interested i do actually have as i keep talking to you guys as i focus this um i do actually have a video on the first time that i tried gel nails and so i will link that down below um so you guys can watch that if you are interested. You don't have to watch it. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. So, and then what else you need? You guys need the black nail polish. This is a black gel nail polish that I got from Amazon. It's from Elite 90, Elite 99. It is, again, black. It's very, very small. I didn't realize it was going to be this little when I ordered it. I mean, I could have read the description, but I didn't. So it's very small. And then you will also need a lamp and a base coat and a top coat to do all of this. Um, I will link the ones that I have purchased down below. I wouldn't say they're necessarily like the best in the business, but they get the work, the job done. So I can't really complain about it. Um, so yeah, those are the things you will need. And again, I have never done this before. So let's see how this turns out. And um, we'll go from there. This is actually what's on my nails right now. This is California Coral by Essie. I just wanted something nice and bright and summery. This is a regular nail polish. Um, I do have a, in my gel nail polish video a thing that makes regular, regular nail polish into gel polish. So if you guys are interested in that, again, I will link the video down below so you guys can see. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take this off and then we will get started with the gel. Okay, so I have already done a primer and a base coat for my nails with the gel. Again, I will link down below all of the things that I use. My nails do look really dry, like my cuticles and stuff, because how I prep, which you guys can see on this hand, um, is, and this is based off of like other videos that I've watched about gel nail polish. I don't put any oil or anything on my nails because you want it to stick as best as possible. I have done a really rough buff on my nail, so not like a full file on the top of my nail, but just to keep the, the surface a little bit rough so it's not super smooth. Um, and I have pushed back any skin and stuff. So um, I have prepped my nails. I am going to follow the directions for the black nail polish um, off of this. What is cheese gel nail polish? What is that? That's weird. I don't know if I would ever want to do that. Um, but anyway, this is the instructions for the gel nail polish that I bought, the Elite 99 black gel. And it says, for normal gel polish, clean nails and trim nail surface as normal. Shake the bottle to ensure the color is mixed thoroughly. Important. 
Can you see that? It says important there. Um, apply base coat first, cure with UD, UV or LED lamp. Necessary. Um, apply polish, cure with UV lamp for two to three minutes or cure with LED lamp for 30 to 60. When dry, apply the second layer and cure with UV lamp or LED lamp again. Coat with top coat, then cured with UV or LED lamp. Remove tacky surface with cotton soaked in cleanser or 95 degree alcohol. Pretty sure that's supposed to say percent, but anyway, um, sort of your standard gel nail polish instructions. So I'm going to take this polish and apply the black on. Um, we'll do one coat at a time and yeah we'll see how this goes um i am sitting in the exact wrong place to do this so you guys are just going to get a weird angle for a second um but yeah i'm going to apply this and get the black set and then do the top coat and then we'll do the the hollow stuff but that's what it looks like in one coat um, this is definitely a two coat nail polish, so I'm going to apply all of the black on my nails and then I'm going to cure it and then we'll do the hollow stuff, the fun stuff. Okay, so I have my black nails on, I did the top coat, and I have my hollow ready. So I have these little spongies, these little guys that came with the powder. And what you basically have to do is take this and buff it in to your nails. So I just have a little bit of that on there. I just dipped it in really kind of softly and here's the moment of truth what I think you do is just go like that and buff it in and hope that it sticks it's like sort of working I think you have to buff it in like really well I'm not entirely sure um, so yeah that's sort of worked let's keep going Oh, oh, it's totally working now. Okay, so I think I just need more. And then like to rub it in. This is interesting. I'm like at a super weird angle, but that's definitely working. So I'm gonna just get a little bit more and rub that in. I feel like part of this is just like rubbing off. So maybe I don't do too much rubbing but part of it is like for sure staying on. Like, do you guys see that? Okay, so I've literally been buffing away for about five minutes and the first time around it turned out like this, like not very good, sort of cloudy. And then I went back and got some more powder and just like sort of lightly buffed it on top again and it's turning out much better. So let's see if I can get it a little bit more like hollow because it's there but it's not super strong like this isn't as like hollow as I thought it would be so I'm gonna get a little bit more powder and let's see what happens let's try to buff that in a little bit more So yeah, you guys can see it looks really cloudy right now. Like I don't really know why it looks like that, but it's like now fully covered in silver. So maybe if I go with the other end and just like keep buffing, I feel like that's working. If I go like this, like the clean side now and like buff that in more. Do you guys see how when I did that, like it like rubbed away the cloudiness? Okay, so I feel like I'm getting, I'm getting there. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, yeah, that looks way better. So I'm gonna show you guys what I did first. Okay, so you guys saw me take a little bit of the powder and get it on the little brush and then I put it on my finger and it was like not great. Like it looked, well now this finger is like doing it fine. I don't know. It looked not great. And so when I did it the first time, it looked very much like my index finger where like nothing was like rubbing on. It looks like this. So it was like this weird cloudy, like 
mess. So, and then you guys just saw with my like ring finger, it looked a lot better. So I'm just gonna keep buffing and then I'll show you guys what it looks like after I keep buffing. Like this is what happened on my ring finger after I applied the product and it was like, it was like cloudy and weird. So I'm gonna keep buffing and I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. So I've still been buffing. I've been buffing for another like 10 minutes and I've been slowly adding a little bit more powder on as I'm going because as I'm buffing, some of it's like coming off. So I do have to add a little bit more, but it is getting more and more like obviously hollow as I buff it in. So yeah, my pinky I feel like is the one that looks the best in terms of hollow like uniformity and like shine. But this is definitely much harder than it looks. And I think part of it is also like the top coat and base coat that I use are not the same brand as the gel nail polish that I use, which is not the same brand as the lamp that I use. I'm sure the manufacturer for each of those companies and things would say that you have to use their own lamp and, you know, their own materials together for it to work the best. But, um, yeah, I'm working with what I've got. So it's, you know, it's happening slowly but surely. So, yeah, I think it's just like I just have to continuously buff as much as I can to get it as fully linear hollow as possible. But you can see that the like my middle finger is like my middle finger and my index finger are probably the cloudiest. And then there's this weird like thing happening on the tip of my nail where it almost looks like a French manicure. Like I don't know what's happening there, but I again will keep buffing and I will check in with you guys when it looks as best as possible. Okay, so that looks like so bad. So what I did was just wiped off the powder that I had on my nails and I used just some acetone for that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it again. Um, I actually did do it on my thumb already. I used way, way less powder this time. Um, and I actually used my finger, so I'll show you guys what I did. Um, I have the powder, oh God, I have the powder there. Um, I just dipped my finger in it and then I went in and just like pushed it onto my nail like this and then started rubbing it in. And you guys can see that that already looks so much better than what I had done before. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I have these little spongies still. You can still use it to like buff it into like, especially the sides of the nails, or I can still use it to buff into the sides of the nails. But this looks so much better than before. Um, the top coat that I have is not um, a wiping top coat. Um, there are some gel polishes that are like, you have to wipe the extra off. That is not the gel polish top coat that I have. It's a no wipe top coat. So that shouldn't have been the problem, but um, definitely wiping off what I had before. I think I just had too much and then pushing it on with my finger is getting a better result than I had before. And you guys can see that it's not like cloudy anymore. It is much more shiny and hollow. So I'm going to do that for all the other fingers and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, I just realized that when I had took off the powder the first time I may have sort of taken off the stickier bit, not sticky, but like the bit that the hollow powder would stick to. So like this is what's sticking to my nails right now. So what I'm going to do is do one more coat of top coat to try and like seal this bit in and then do more powder on top. So I'm going to do the top coat um, and I'll show you what it looks like after. Okay, let's try this again. I have my little powder in there, which I'll just put in my finger or in my hand and I'm going to get some on my finger and we're going to go on to my middle finger and just push that on. That looks much better, right? I think that looks much better. So I'm going to push that on. It's like not as cloudy as before. And I'm going to just kind of buff that in. Right? That looks better. Hopefully that looks better. So yeah, now I'm just going to do this for the rest of my fingers and buff that in. 
Okay, so quite honestly, this is like so annoying and so hard to get right. So what I'm going to do is probably remove this. I am going to try using a gel polish that, this is like a turquoise, um, that is the same brand as my base and top coat to see if that gets the base, or at least the top coat, like sticking better. I think it's the problem with the top coat. And then I'm going to put the hollow on top of that to see if it works better. So I'm going to remove this and we are going to start over and see if this gets any better, but I am getting closer. You can see that my nails do look a little bit better. It's just like, I think I just need to stick to like one brand so far. So we are going to start over. Okay, we're trying this again. I haven't done my other fingers because if this doesn't work on my thumb, then it's just easier to remove one nail than all of them. So I have the turquoise on my nail. The turquoise that I'm using is the Pink Jalac Clarity Turquoise, which is actually just like a really sheer glass fleck um, turquoise. This is one coat and then one coat of a top coat on top. So again, I'm going to get a little bit on my finger and I'm going to press this on and rub it in and hope it works. It's sort of working. Let's get the little guy and buff it in. Sort of working. I'll be right back to see if I can get this on better. Okay, so it's getting there. After lots of rubbing, um, it's getting there. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the powder and like use my finger just to rub it in. I think my finger is doing a better job than the like the spongies. I feel like the spongies, this isn't like a, it's not like a really spongy sponge. It's more silicone-y. So I just feel like it's not, it's like wiping it off as well instead of like fully buffing it in. So I'm pushing it on with my finger and then um, buffing with my finger. Because I think my finger is a little bit drier and not like dragging as much. But that definitely looks way better than like what I had done before with the other, um, with the black polish. So I definitely think it makes a difference to use a set of top coats and base coats that were like meant for each other, you know? So I am going to keep buffing this to see if I can get it like shiny, shiny. And I'll show you what it looks like after a little bit more buffing. But this definitely looks better than with the black. And like, look, now I'm buffing with the brush or with the, um, the little spongies that came with the powder. And I feel like it's getting brighter now. So I will show you what it looks like after I get it like as bright as possible. So this is kind of as clean as I can get it. I am going to do one more coat of a top coat and maybe set the top coat for a little bit longer under the lamp and then do a little bit more hollow powder to see if that helps. Okay, I put another top coat on. I am going to get a little bit of the powder. This time I'm going to use a little applicator and I'm going to see if it gets any shinier. Oh, that definitely worked. Okay. So I think my issue is an equipment side on my side, which is I need to use not only the products that go together, but I need to set the top coat a little bit more so that it's completely, completely dry. Cause look, that already looks like so much more hollow. Okay. So that's good to know. If you guys are still watching this video, I'm glad you stuck around to see me struggle through getting my nails with hollow powder on them for like so long because I myself have been filming this video for about three hours now. So yeah, so that is what that looks like. I am just gonna buff this in a little bit more and then um, show you the final result. Okay. So this is as shiny as I can get it. It's not a perfect application, but I'm tired now. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna put a top coat on this and then set it and then that's it. 
And so yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys, I hope this helped for anyone that also was curious about hollow powders or, you know, was having trouble with doing hollow powders. This is the first time I had ever used a hollow powder, so obviously you guys saw me struggle with how to do this. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, if you could give it a thumbs up, that would totally make my day. Otherwise, I hope you guys are doing well, and I will see you guys soon.